Hi Leo, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another Love Bite. Leo, let's see what are the messages here for you today. And a warm welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Leo Spirit. All right, for the first person, I have uh, Eight of Cups, King of Pentacles and the Temperance card. The other person, this is a one person A for me. Pers uh, you could be the first line, you could be the second line. Uh, the Moon in Reverse, Nine of Wands in Reverse and the Queen of Wands in Reverse. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Bottom of my deck. Uh, page of pentacles in reverse things are totally stagnant between the two of you it does seem one person says i'm walking away from the situation now uh, my person never stepped up they never did right by me then they, they were not willing to offer me any commitment or anything this was a very imbalanced connection the other person i think they feel i don't know they they do realize they do realize that uh, the other person is exhausted of them or tired of them, but uh, maybe some secrets came out about them in the past or something. And now they feel that the other person is out there and getting a lot of attention, not really looking at me, is over me or something. Uh, let me uh, clarify these. I'm going to, of course, clarify each and every card for you, Leo. But first, let's start with some dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be. And then I'll start the clarification. Leo and that person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Leo and that person spirit. Leo and that person, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Just a few more from a third deck as well. And then we'll start the reading, Leo. Leo and their person spirit. Last one. All right, good to go. Let's start the reading. And Leo, if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is omkarataru at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, I'm lost without you. I didn't show you what you meant to me. We could have had it all. I have nightmares that you are with others. I'm sending you songs. I sweat out the stress. Your love makes me feel untouchable and invincible. You make me stronger, happier and wiser. Your love is the greatest love I've ever known. Always on my mind and in my heart. Yes, that's you. Always and forever. I hate it when I communicate with you and you could keep the conversation going, but you shut it down. Can't you tell that I'm trying to get you to coerce it out of me? I want to tell you what's going on with me, but I just can't come out and say it. Damn. You're all I've ever truly wanted in my life. You are my everything. I always chose you. Every damn time, every damn day, you say you want me, but your actions, they don't match with the words that have come out of your mouth. Damn it, I want you to choose me and show me that you mean it. I'm healing from deep trauma after losing you in the physical world. On reflection, I realized my inability to put myself first let me down. But as you're my mirror, I feel I ultimately let you down. I'm so sorry I couldn't be there for you when you needed me the most. I didn't know how to make myself a priority. And in not doing so, I lost the biggest part of me. You. All right. So these were some of your messages. If these were resonating with your storyline, let's start the reading. But first, an angel blessing card. And this one is going to be for the viewer. Now, this could be you, Leo. Could be your cross watcher. So a blessing, guidance, advice or message 
for the viewer so look out for signs you are getting signs and synchronicities could be repeating numbers look out for those like you know two 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 four four each of them have a very profound angelic meaning so maybe you can google them later on you know uh google them for answers and uh, maybe other messages your person's name pops up here and there somebody says something profound so that's the universe's way of directing you or sending you messages so look out for that okay so now spirit tell me uh, let's start with the first person's energy for me person a here could be you could be your cross watcher right the other other person would be again you or the other person so person a let's start with you eight of cups i see you you were emotionally happy unhappy and uh, you feel that this was becoming a repetitive pattern maybe in this connection and um, that i think person a each time i think something went wrong i think person a was the one who kept trying and kept trying and kept trying to rebuild and kept trying to work on this connection but now i think they've come to the realization that this is becoming a repetitive cycle my person is not meeting me halfway they are not meeting me they're not stepping up they're not you know offering me anything committed or not focusing on this relationship and uh, you know i'm the only one who just keeps pushing and trying so i'm not emotionally ha happy here i think i need to now leave this person behind and move on uh, king of pentacles in reverse i think person a has gone silent or maybe using their in own intuition realizing that things are never going to change and this connection is just too imbalanced and i have to now take back my own power they feel that their person just doesn't make up their mind or doesn't make a decision so i have to now be stronger and i have to get myself out of always worrying about what they're going to choose what will they decide i'm losing sleep here i'm having you know sleepless nights wondering what they're up to where they are what they want and i don't want to do that anymore i have to get out of that now this is a very imbalanced connection i need to move on i need to now allow the you know universe to send me those messages so i can you know follow them and you know turn my life around in a positive direction and uh, be single and independent and you know focus on myself according to person a this connection is over this was a false soulmate connection uh, according to person a Okay, so person B, what about you? How are you feeling currently? Moon in reverse. What's the moon in reverse? I think something about them was revealed. Maybe their cheating ways or lying ways, or they go, they were ghosting or doing something. You know, they were doing something, and I think that got exposed. Now they know that the other person is exhausted of them, has given up on them, has uh, is not fighting for the connection, and now they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. I think there could be a lot of stagnancy in this connection now. They could be maybe trying to find out, or maybe through gossip or rumors, or you know, try and keep tabs on the other person. They are trying to figure out if the other person has actually moved on. they want to know if the other person has moved on i think this person is now hoping wishing praying uh, not really saying anything but hoping maybe the other person will take action maybe if i pray hard enough you know the other person they always loved me maybe they'll communicate to me first so uh, queen of wands what's the queen of wands yeah because they feel i do want to go back to them but if i reach out to them first i look like such a loser because they are the ones who were playing the mind games in the past right now they feel if i ha have to go back and approach them they are anyways glowing they are anyways are getting so much attention if i also give them attention then i look like such a loser so how do i return back to them i think they are hoping that the other person who has already walked away according to them that they reach out first then they say yes then then i will match them uh, i will prove to them we are a power couple i will do everything possible they are still holding on to that hope that the other person can forget about their past deception or toxic behavior or i mean this person is strapped in their mind at the moment just hoping wishing praying that the other person will talk to them first why because yeah they loved me right they always loved me and if they we can reach out first i'll tell them as well that i love them i live and want to offer commitment to them that will make me really really happy they're hoping the other person forgets about everything that happened in the past and is the one to turn things around 
okay so let's see now what's going to happen okay so spirit tell me for the first person who's kind of given up and saying i'm walking away uh, they are not the, going to be the first ones to message that's for sure they're saying i'm not picking up the phone i'm not going to send them a message uh, they should have been the one to take action so if they are not going to make that choice and prove to me uh, take action towards me and prove to me they want to give me a partnership then you know what that means they haven't changed at all they are still the person they were they still not ready to offer me commitment they're still not ready to put in the work so well i i'm not going to i'm not going to be the first one uh, even though i think there is a feeling of regret and sadness at leaving this connection behind but they are choosing to say no i've learned my lesson now i'm not going to be the first one to reach out okay so the other person spirit what do these three cards mean for the second person they are let's see page of wands in reverse they are not happy at not receiving a message this person is trapped in their mind they are stuck in their mind they are not happy that the other person hasn't reached out they are itching to take action uh, in fact they want to rush back in and uh, take action and go towards person a but in their mind they feel ah the other person is not going to want me back now after the way i treated them they are not going to want me back now so i'm sure they've already turned their back towards me so this person is just sitting in a lot of disappointment they're blocking their own selves to even trying because they feel you know how do i express myself now how do i tell them that i love them you know i just look like such a loser so this person having little bit of a pity party here they're just sitting in sadness guilt shame regret sadness sorrow see feeling very very defeated why why are they feeling defeated because in actuality they do want this partnership so that's the reason right now there's a stalemate going on things are totally stagnant neither of you are you know coming forward first to express yourselves so well that's what i have for you then Leo till next time then love and light take care namaste